and I belong to the Bissahan tribe. After my fifth suicidal episode, I ended up in a hospital and was eventually diagnosed with depression. I was depressed before. I believe it began around the age of five. I grew up in an alcoholic household with an alcoholic and abusive mother and a no-show father. The way I coped with all my trauma was finding a relationship with hip hop and being able to connect with the artists and being able to express myself in way of words and speaking. The best way my thoughts are expressed is with the be of my own rhythm, like my heart. I started out in a photo patchy in the res, specifically Seven Mile. Both my parents were alcoholics. Mom got better, but it took a while. My father was a no show. Going unattended, I was always on the get go. Each of my grandmas took care of me, one at a time, sometimes for a week. It's not like Res Boy playing in Crete. Knowing they couldn't support me, my grandmas, over time, they got weak. Till one time, things went too far. Mom got arrested for doing something untrusting. Something to only son at the age of five. He got beat a lot too hard. Sometimes you gotta realize what they realize that most of everything's made up of real lies. Statistically, I'm not supposed to be here. Statistically, I'm supposed to be laid out covered in cans of beer. The thing is that rap isn't about statistics. We're stuck in a trap labeled gimmicks. Telling us to get over it, I don't express myself for the hell of it. I'm strong and indigenous because I didn't get over it. So I use my expression as a voice. My own life and death, I almost made the wrong choice. In the bathroom, standing a razor for 30 minutes. Wonder if I'll let my little sister live in a world without an older brother in it. See? Those things are what get me through. I want to have the best, but not ever had. I think of the future, although she's only two. And it's good she has a somewhat sober dad. I want to have the good mentality when I'm plagued with depression, like mine is. I want to have the perfect reality, but mine, I was almost causing my own fatality. I want to start off with the right impression, where she wants to sit through multiple therapy sessions. Empower yourselves and beat the system. If others don't, try not and fall down with them. Just ask for help from people with them. Just sit down and listen. Just look at the people you love and know how lucky you are. To reach out, it isn't that hard. I'm indigenous. Look at me, now look at this. Coming from the third world jungle, you just been wondering how I survived the struggle. But I'll tell you, expression made my life better even with depression. It gives you a voice to make a change or stay the same. I chose to make a change. What you do now, it's your choice. No matter who you are or where you come from, you matter. There is nothing about this message that's going to change, especially being an American and being made to feel like we aren't wanted in our third world jungle. I found that expression of myself is important for reaching out to people. Expression comes in a variety of ways. Mine happens to be rap and hip hop. Hello, my name is Tanae, and I am a member of the White Mountain Apache Tribe from the Fort Apache Indian Reservation. I'm 14 years old. I am a We Are Native Youth Ambassador, be a leader, high school club vice president, agricultural youth summit ambassador based in Arkansas, Barrett Summer Scholar at ASU from a teen summer program, and I'm a generation indigenous challenge taker and ambassador. And I created my own project, Young Dad, created based on Native youth empowerment through music. And I just want to thank you for listening and that there are many outlets and ways you can deal with your own trauma and ways you can get your voice heard and make a change for your community. And don't let me be the only one. Thank you for listening. We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those thugs. 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 It's the thuggish ruggers ball